So he uh, starting to definitely grab a lot of CS now on the Invoker. The first couple waves seemed a little bit rough, but he's doing really well now. Yeah, the first couple of waves you don't have the tornado immediately. He pushes out the lane with the uh, with the flame guard, and then you can't really do much oh. about it. Save is in a little bit of trouble. Save in comes the Sven, and that is gonna be first blood for Yuragi. Beautiful setup from Seb as he gets the he just gets the alpha wolf blood grenades the the shaman and is like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Bottom lane, Toronto, Tokyo in trouble as well as the last one's gonna go to Ari. Whisper taking Bash and a lot of damage from the Eidolons. He's, He's trying fighting. to sustain with the passive, but he will not get it. Honestly, pretty good for the side of Bedboom, but the kill going to Toronto, Tokyo hurts a little bit. He's been jungling a little bit, so... Yeah, as a result, you have a really farmed Faceless Void. And top lane Miro, he does have... Does he have Onslaught available? I think he just might be baiting here. He's going to try and turn this around. But here comes Yuragi. The Stormhammer comes in. Not enough as he's got a stick to top himself off. And there's the Onslaught nice. back in. They've got him. Here comes Techies, though. Ari will set this one up. Trying to bring down one more the hit. Primal Beast. He needs another auto attack, and he will grab it. So... Uh, one bait into another, but ends up being a good win here. Top lane Bash. for OG, but bottom lane, Nightfall capitalizes on this and takes down Whisper. Honestly, Bedboom's doing really well. It's just this fan I'm a little bit worried about, but Faces Void having a good game is really scary. As they are bringing a lot of heroes bottom, looking for a chrono opportunity, and Whisper, he's going to get caught by an EMP bro. comes out from GPK as well, and he should end up dying here as the tornado will help finish him off. So a great rotation in there. And meanwhile, the Ember Spirit does not find anything top lane, so... And You're not going to be able to find an opening with enough heroes to get the kill. So, OG, this is what they do. This is how you pun they punish even 10 minutes in. They punish you not having a chrono, but now, Black Hole... Yeah, I mean, they're bringing everything bottom, and there it is, the black hole from Toronto, Tokyo, catching the techies as well. In comes the Enchantress. They're trying to keep Ari alive. Nice. The deafening blast perfectly done by GPK. They still manage to take down the Enigma, and BZM is, is close. Do they have the detection? But the chains hits the three creeps instead, and GPK will walk away. He wants to go for the, uh, for the Blink Dagger first, and he needs it, because he's going to have it way too late if the Blade Mail is the first item. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the, the lane was looking okay the first few levels, but honestly, that, that one death hurt him quite a bit, because that Faceless Void just got such a quick level 6, being left alone in that lane for the most part. GPK finding a kill onto BZM is incredible, with the help there of the Shadow Shaman, but Nightfall with a perfect <laughs> chrono, just like, guys, go away from me, I don't want to deal with you. Yeah, they're not going to be able to dive. Well, another tower going to go the way of OG. But losing that mid lane, that is pretty huge. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's see though, Toronto Tokyo is in a lot of oh, trouble. Oh, both are going to pop here. Beautifully done by Ari to set that one up. That was a cool attempt to play. He spawned the Eidolons because he knows he's going to be caught. But again, mid lane. Dude, two in a row onto the Ember Spirit. Save and GPK have his number. Beautifully done. And, I mean, this is kind of the problem of picking a hero like Ember Spirit into a Shadow Shaman. You have such long disables. Yep, and Bad Boom are playing it perfectly, really. Every single time they use their ulties, every single time they could have poked at the mid tower they did, and now they're punishing the Ember, which could be a problem for them in the, uh, in the later stages of the game if they don't. Dude, I love the aggression from GPK's Invoker so far in the game. He has top of the net worth for his team. He's got that Vessel done. The Invoker Shadow Shaman duo, man, that is really scary. Looking to see where the Enchantress is. Seb is in the mid lane. Because now dying here, it is not a good death. Yeah, and he's in a lot of trouble. Great chains out here from BZM, okay. and they're going to turn it around. He onslaughted in for this, so he cannot escape, and the magic damage is there. BZM grabbing the kill. Great turnaround from Seb. It's not a good death, but he's not even gonna die. It's gonna be a great bait. Awesome, awesome, very nicely done. So they found a hero that's gonna be surviving a little bit longer. Even the Primal Beast can sometimes have oh, issues. Oh, the Techies. Same some trouble. this game. Yeah, he really is. He is just doing so much work on this Shadow Shaman. This is your blink reveal on Whisper. You, I feel like you have to find something here, but the Invoker will be the one that breaks the smoke, and oh, oh what a tornado from GPK. He's got him. There's going to be the Hex from save. BZM's got to offer some help to save him, but they can't. There's just too much damage. 
Ari on this techies. Thinking about coming in here as well on Seb. They're doing some work. Miro goes in with the onslaught. BZM is out of resources completely. He needs to dodge this one out of the trees. He He's needs caught. some help here. Your Ember Spirit's the one who's going to go down. The movement of Bed Boom is so clean in that fight. So you can save those for bigger fights to threaten the enemies as you've already gotten yourself in a position where OG's plan to shut you down hasn't worked. And it's not stopping. Bottom lane, the jump in. Ari's thinking about trying to cancel it, but can't do it. Four heroes again from Beth Boom, and they will take down Whisper on this Legion Commander. The hexes have just been devastating from save. And you have this Enigma that is incredibly farmed as well. He has the Vlads, he has the drums, he is looking for his Blink Dagger, he's over halfway the way, uh, to it. He's neck and neck with your Legion Commander in terms of CS, or in terms of net worth. BZM? And they found BZM. Yeah, beautifully done. Uh, Whisper trying to save him, but there's just way too much damage, and it's just overwhelming at this point. Miro just trying to get his hands on something for a Pulverize, but he will be able to Blink away. Probably one of the bigger bigger objectives that they can get. OG looks like they want to contest. I mean, they know, but I, I don't think they're going to make it in time. The Enchantress trying to make his way there, but... Maybe a steal? It's too late. The Aegis will hit the deck. BZM does find Toronto Tokyo up onto the high ground. The question is, can you do anything? Whisper goes in for the duel, but this tornado is there, and you're wrong. He can't do anything. They just get a beautiful chrono out from Nightfall to jump in. He's just taunting him at this point, as Ari will do a decent chunk of damage here Jam on the this techies, but it's just too much. Nope. They find Seb as well. Miro hits him with the onslaught, grabs him for the pulverize, and Seb will fall as well. A triple kill for the faceless void, as it is all bet boom. A little bit of a cool detail there in the in the fight that they're probably listening quite a lot to their captain Toronto Tokyo because he lost the gem and he probably said somebody pick up the gem and everybody's running to it. The duel comes out though. This is a nice duel once Another again, save. but the tornado is there, and Whisper, he just gets collapsed on. The team can't make it up onto the high ground. They are looking to try and jump on top of Nightfall. The Lincolns will protect him. Seb is wrapping around the backside, but save! Gets a grab onto the Sven, will get canceled out by Ari. He gets the black hole up. It's going to get canceled, though. They find the kill. The techies mind doing work, but you're fighting under way too much damage from Bet Boom as they will have to get away. Nightfall will pick up that gem once again. And this Faces Void is very scary. The TP coming through. GPK not done. Trying to maybe look for this Enchantress. But Nightfall will disengage instead. Yeah, he uh, he does get himself out. And once again, Bet Boom, they save their gem despite the Enigma dying with it. And Seb is not done. He knows that they have to pressure still. You cannot go back. But yeah. Well, in the end, it wasn't a good move. You know you have to do something more and then mistakes like this happen. It's amazing. You just Malefice creep wave spawn Eidolons, and those will push for days. So they're looking Dang, yeah. maybe to go for GPK here, but they're going to respond as an immediate TP response from Nightfall will push them back. Uh, save. Not done, though. He goes in. He manages to find the Legion Commander. The Sunstrike is there, and the damage from Nightfall isn't enough. It is. He gets himself another kill. 6 0 and 11. He's had a fantastic game. They're still looking for GPK, but. They can't find him. He's just reading this too well. They know there's got to be some sort of vision here, and they will just take down another. Nightfall with a double kill. Bash after bash, finding this opening. Each that's the up. thing that's so hard to read with the new Slide of Fist, with like how long the attack strike interval is now compared to what it used to be, right? So he's like throws the tornado, thinking it's going to end, and it's like, nope, he's halfway through the duration. <laughs> BCM going to get found here. In comes save once again, and he will get caught from a sun strike. This Shadow Shaman is, is just, I don't know what to say. It has been completely destroying OG this game. Falling uh, down in terms of net worth. Nope, he is uh, hes pretty much neck and neck with the Sven, which is hella impressive, even in this scenario. Dude, Again? He just, he's just not done. He will never stop. He sees a hero somewhere on the map, and he will punish you. Tornado into Sunstrike. Nightfall will be the one that grabs the last hit. There's just, there's nothing that's safe. For the side of OG, this Shadow Shaman will be everywhere. If we claim the high ground in our big jungle, we will fight them only if they are in the lane. If they're not showing in the lane, we will go back. Because they're deep in the uh, in the enemy territory, you're just going to die. 
Wow, he died fast. Uh, that is incredible. Um, well, you know, you're uh, you're probably not gonna be able to uh, to take Nightfall down, or at least even duel him or stun him. Yeah, they've been doing really good at just dropping these. The GPK uh, Invoker. Having that second Lincolns makes a big deal. And Seb, he just comes back to die. And in comes Nightfall. He gets the Chrono. Catches the Ember Spirit. There's going to be the Sun Strike as well. You're going to lose Ari on the techies. Triple kill for GPK. Putting a stamp on this game. As it is almost impossible. Here they go. The backside. There's going to be the great duel. In comes the Sven. But the Pulverize is there. Whispers trying to survive. But it's Yuragi versus the world. But he cannot do it alone. Nightfall will beat him down. And game one going the way of Vet Boom. I know that this Enigma might look like a core, but it's actually support. You've gotten a position 5 of the enemy. I think OG just wanted something before they uh, call GG. But Bed Boom, they stomped the hell out of him. Yep. You have a 275 movement speed Viper versus a 340 movement speed Vi uh, Gyrocopter. You will not be able to play like that. And they have Flat Cannon back up. Mira might just be dead here, honestly. The Flat attacks from downtown. They got him. Yuragi's got the first blood, baby. I don't Gyrocopter know. doubters in 2024. Where are you? It happens, but nice attempt there. Usually versus the Invoker, you cannot dive because the Cold Snap and the Tower are just going to be hella annoying and you won't be able to close the gap even if it's just one hit that you need. But he... Okay. Okay, that's really going to hurt him if he dies now. And he's dead. Oh, boy. Well, GPK with the tip as well. I mean, this guy is just such a good Invoker player. And yeah, he just baits BZM multiple times, it seems. And Start the first two days. We're just losing every single game. It's uh, it's gonna be a problem mentally as well as I mean, uh, score-wise. You uh, zero four is not a good spot to be in. Uh, they're bringing the numbers. They've brought the Enigma here. Yuragi trying to get aggressive, trying to take down the Viper. They almost get the kill, but they've got too much damage with the help of those uh, Enigma Eidolons. And we're seeing both teams try and make this rotation to the enemy uh, safe lane. They the want to stop is, the reload. Who is going to be the one that gets caught? They want to stop the reload, and this is a perfect opening to go for it. They have the Spirit Vessel as well. Uh, they're going to try and just, like, find the IO on the back side. Is, yep, that reload not available. Beautifully done. They've got the Gyrocopter. Nice. Incredible kill from them, Seb Does get caught by GPK on the back side. This is such a great rotation. Beautiful. It does cost as you a tower on top, but that's fine. I mean, they're bringing in a lot of heroes. Whisper here as well, looking to get Miro underneath I the tower. There's going to be the the RP, the Bushwhack, the Skewer. They got him. Okay, a nice little pickoff onto that offline Viper. Yep, with you killing him, now this rotation for Bed Boom doesn't get them anything other than the kill. And you are killing the win condition, but you're not opening up the map. Woo! Bed Boom were constantly out pushing the mid lane, and again, it was chip damage that got that tower down. This is actually huge. I've seen so many Blink Dagger Magnuses fall flat because they didn't have their uh, their tower early on. Well, they're looking for Miro on the bottom side. There's going to be the Viper Strike coming through. This guy's tanky, man. He's got 20 stick charges as well. Can you burst them down in time? They can't, and in comes Yuragi with the help of Seb. That will be able to finish him off. Whisper, a uh, nice grab there, slowing down the Viper. They do get the nice ward down, so in the future they're gonna be able to use it, and they're still hunting. If if Whisper stays here, he's very that nice, nice read that he needs to bail right now. Well, he goes right back in. There's gonna be the, I mean, perfectly timed, just cold snap tornado instantly brought down. GPK with another kill. Yuragi thinking of going in. They have numbers coming through from the side of OG, but you've got to find this Enigma as well. You cannot allow him to just get this black hole. Good position. Who are they going to find? Oh, they find save on the back side. Here comes Toronto Tokyo. The illusion rune. He's like, I got a bail, man. That black hole. He's looking for a target call down. Coming through just a zone off the back side. But in comes Nightfall. They burst the IO. That is the best case scenario. Yuragi looking to try and get out. But Toronto forward. Tokyo is there. There's the black hole. Finally finding its target as BZM comes back in. Trying to finish off save, but he one. can't even do that. Oh, it's a disaster. Okay. He's only going to get the Enigma, but BZM will fall as well. A huge win for Bet Boom. What a read from Nightfall. They do grab it with a Sunstrike. They are going to commit for this, so they know that this is happening, but 
Good positioning here, honestly, from OG to bring all of their heroes up here. They're like, yeah, we will protect it. We will get this Roshan. With the Aegis, you're going to be able to posture more aggressively and then get the... Uh get a decent chunk of farm, get more map going your way, and also pressure the enemies while you're doing that, because you do not want the enemies to get a ton of aura so that you can't kill them with the gyro. Cold snap with the vessel, does catch Ari, the EMP gets him as well. They are gonna be able to get a great Avatos onto the backside. The RP here does catch the Invoker, but can they kill him in time? GPK falling low, it's gonna be the flat cannon to Yuragi as he's trying to stand his ground, but he will get him. That will be the Aegis. Miro will go in, tries to find more, save with that nice blink Ava once again, finding his big target, and it's Yuragi versus four. He cannot do it alone. Double kill for Nightfall, a four for one. This tiny from save is finding all the right targets. Uh, a much better approach from OG, though I think patience could have been better for him. Than okay, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a really cool snipe. All right, Whisper. I think then maybe Ari would ju should just be saving the bushwhack to a situation when they start committing onto Yuragi, because that's the turnaround that you wish for if you are going to be using this RP for, uh, for an invoker. That feels bad. Well, OG, they do get the shard, but at the cost of your captain. Yep. Imagine if uh, he sniped that tormentor with it with a sunstrike after that. It was it was actually fairly fairly close. Dude, I love this smoke rotation. They They're gonna him. find him. Absolutely, the avalanche to toss back. They're like, yo, you tell us where you are. We will come. As Yuragi will lose another life here. And it's very weird that he got caught there. I feel, I feel like it has to be OG to do to try and maybe force the next Roche, but we still got two and a half minutes for that. Uh, OG is the team that needs to be using their timings better because their timings are more important, like the Satanic of the Gyro that they have right now. Oh my goodness, BZM getting so close there. They do manage to reload in and they've managed to grab the Invoker. He gets tossed to safety for the moment. And they will grab him. The black hole from Toronto, it's Tokyo, so grabbing BZM. But that's it. Here comes Nightfall. His own flat cannon. He's doing great. There's the RP up from Whisper. They've managed to bring them low. They will grab that Enigma, but it's not enough. Great skewer out from Whisper. Trying to finish off save. He's got almost no HP, but can nice. he do it? He will finally take on out. But Ari will burn to this Viper. It ends up being a three for three. The Nightfall. Ended. Oh my goodness, that guy joined the fight and it was uh, the, gr the <laughs> green light to leave. Like, how the hell are they everywhere on the map? But it's just not that hard <laughs> to, uh, to outmaneuver them. The thing is, though, OG cannot use this properly until that mid lane tower falls because they cannot uh, maneuver deep in the enemy jungle. This is a big smoke one. Up, they get a good ward save. He gets the Yules onto the Magnus. That's the great option. An Huge. immediate black hole comes through. Canceled. They've got the break, but in comes the damage. It's just Nightfall on this Morphling doing way too much. And Yuragi without the IO does not have the damage beautifully found from this tiny what a great fight you did spend the buyback here on your magnus and he has the rp available for the fight so that is obviously a great opportunity for og but it's gonna be too slow your, your gyro is still dead for another nine seconds they've stacked up the damage and that fortification it's keeping it alive well illusions? not for the morphling illusions i think they got him yeah beautifully done Man, that ward place too. Uh, like both teams were smoked, getting ready to go. I don't think OG uh, like realized they were going to be that close, and they're just going to go right back in. They've caught Target. Seb once again on the IO. As Whisper now taking a beating from this Invoker does get the skewer away. The Lotus Orb was spent on the IO. A great bushwhack out from this Hoodwink will keep them alive. And Nightfall will make quick work of this. He's got a, a butterfly queued up as well, so not going to be too long before he grabs that. I saw an Eagle Song on the Gyro, so I don't know if he was going a butterfly or if he's going, like, Disperser. I think both are, are pretty good, but yeah. They're going to catch a Hoodwink off onto the bottom side of the map here. Just an easy kill for an Invoker and a Viper. Yep, this and is there it. it is. Hey, just and Cheese. You uh, get that lane of racks, and now the... The mobility of OG is no longer an issue because you're going to have one lane that is always going to go your way. Nightfall actually going to take a decent chunk of damage here. The, t the team is coming, though, so you got to be careful. It's like you, you can't really take down this Morphling by yourself. 
has both As they look for save instead. I mean, that's a great hero to grab this start at the fight. And in comes Whisper. Does manage to find Miro. The Yules will buy him a little bit of space, but there's going to be the RP. They're trying to finish one off. Toronto Tokyo in the black hole. He catches two on the backside, and it's the best targets he could grab. What a Enigma play from Toronto Tokyo. He has been on the spot this game. And this is the perfect way to set up for big team fight ultis like the black hole and that's why toronto tokyo he's not going to be making mistakes when he has so many openings yep it's just looking so dang good for the side of bet boom as they are looking to take a second lane of barracks here obviously mid's protected by a tier two so we'll slow it down a little bit but they're losing the magnus whisper he was trying to cut the wave gets punished gpk will not allow it and nightfall looking like he's gonna respect the side of ogs it yeah, and this is the green light for Nightfall. He finishes up the tier two in mid, and now Mega Creeps are on the table here for Bet Boom as Nightfall with this alacrity is just incredibly scary. They're gonna go in. They do have the Ags here on this Void Spirit. Does a nice decent grab. chunk of damage, but save. He gets the toss back. He finds Uragi. He's got the Satanic, but he's just disarmed. He can't do anything. Nope. Oh no! And Nightfall with his own flat cannon will take down Ari on the Hoodwink. Death from above, says Vero. This base, it belongs to Bet Boom, and they are putting a, a quick finish to this game if they get the chance. Yeah, they're coming, and I talked about RPs, and you have to be patient. Well, uh, now I have to be patient for 40 seconds until your gyro comes back, and you don't have that much any longer. Yeah, I mean, they're going to jump in once again on the Void Spear, but a great Yule's out from save as well as BZM. You just gotta find something. You have the RP available. They're trying to just pop this Aegis, but can they even do that? Nice dodge there. Oh, they get the Morphling. He's at the fountain. Still surviving. He just waveforms away. You're kidding me, Nightfall. They can't get it. They're just trying to pop the Aegis, but it's not happening. He's For now, Bet Boom seemingly respecting the, the threat of OG, and they will back away. Oh, he snipes him with a quick shockwave. As they will have the remnants available. This guy is really tanky. The silence is there. In comes Yuragi, the sharpshooter as well. The waveform will get him to safety. And you are now forced to stay in your base. There is a black hole back up and available for Take this Enigma. Time. He is just waiting for his target. They're going to go in once again. And there it is. The toss back. They get the gyrocopter. And without that guy, I don't know how you keep yourself in this game. BZM trying to finish off Toronto. Tokyo will be able to do so. Staying pretty aggressive here out of the backside. Pops the Mantha to try and run. But the chase continues. Double kill for Nightfall on this Morphling. There is a buyback available. It is up to Whisper. Can you RP and drag the entirety of Bet Boom into your fountain? I feel like that's what it's going to take. Nightfall with the flak here, just working on the throne. Miro on the backside offering a lot of damage as well. They jump in, they get the silence. BZM, can he do it? He's trying his best to toss back. He says, get away from me. Fortification for the moment will buy them a little bit of time. There's the RP, the skewer. Can he get them close They're enough? Really it's trying. not. They're too far away. And Nightfall will finish the game as Bet Boom take the series 2-0. They gave their hearts and souls for that defense. Unfortunately, they didn't really stand a chance at doing so. When the gyro came to a point where you're just going to get black hole and die, there's nothing that you can, your team can do about it. You're not tanky enough yourself to, uh, to survive through it. At that point, the game was just over.